When it comes to space missions, it is the children who are taking the lead at home and abroad. Two teenage girls from India have discovered an earthbound asteroid. 14-year-old Videhi Vikarya and Radhika Lakhani have proved that no one is too young or too old to aim high, quite literally. According to an Indian Space Education Institute, the girls used a telescope from the University of Hawaii for this discovery. The girls used specialized software to analyze the images taken by the PanStars telescope. The discovery was part of an asteroid search campaign conducted in collaboration with the International Astronomical Search Collaboration. It is a NASA-affiliated citizen scientist group. The asteroid is currently near Mars. Experts say that its orbit is expected to cross the Earth's orbit in about a million years. For now, the asteroid is called HLV-2514. India's young scientists say they look forward to a chance to name the asteroid. They say they want to become an astronaut when they grow up in a bid to turn their dreams into reality. The two girls have distanced themselves from any source of distraction. They say they don't even have a television at home so that they can concentrate on their studies. For now, they are receiving treatment at a private institute. Meanwhile, children on the other side of the world are contributing to NASA's missions. A 13-year-old boy, Alexander Mathur, named the rover Perseverance and a 17-year-old girl, Vaniza Rupani, named a Mars helicopter Ingenuity. On Monday, NASA gave a nod to Perseverance for a launch scheduled later this week. The rover will set out on a mission to seek signs of ancient microbial life. A number of social media platforms will go live to make the launch available to the world. The rover is expected to land on Jezero Carter on uh, 18 February 2021. Let's listen in now to what the young scientist who named the rover thinks about the mission. To me, this mission is a log about what it means to be human. Because I think humans just, one of our greatest qualities is perseverance. I'm just a part of this amazing team and I'm so excited I get to be too. But like it's it's not just me. There's so many amazing scientists and engineers who planned out and created this mission and who are now about to direct it as it flies to a whole other world. The rover is equipped with a small helicopter called Ingenuity. It will gather rock and soil samples for future missions and further studies. I try to answer the question of how, like, how is it possible that people can do something as amazing as science and other planets? And I thought ingenuity was the quality that answered that question best. It's supposed to be the first powered flight on another planet, so that it's a test, it's a demonstration to see if it's possible to fly on Mars. And now the U.S. will become the third nation after China and UAE to embark on a mission to the Red Planet with this launch. And a lot of credit, of course, goes to these young minds who have shown that no ambition is too high to pursue.